Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with the reviews of the two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact SUV from MG, the 2018 ZS 1.5 AT Alpha, and a luxury van from Toyota, the 2018 Alford 3.5 liter V6 AT. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we had the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLS and the 2019 Audi A6 Black Edition. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Hyundai Tucson 2.0D DLS and the Nissan X-Trail 4x4 Gas. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Suzuki Swift Media Drive to Bataan as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Phoenix Petroleum 2019 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM All of Asia on May 2-5 to for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. GAC, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from MG. During the last quarter of 2018, the local auto industry welcomed a new international brand. Although this British brand has been in the global market for quite some time before it made its way to Philippine shores, it's the first time that Filipinos are seeing it up close. We're talking about the Morris Garages or better known as MG. Now under the care of its new distributor, the Covenant Car Company Incorporated, let's find out what's hot about the MG ZS variant in this car review. On 
Under the hood of the ZS is a 1.5 liter 4 cylinder engine that generously produces 114 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque, which are not much compared to the other crossovers in the market. But what makes it sufficient is the fact that the engine is naturally aspirated, meaning it is not turbocharged. These figures match to a 4 speed automatic transmission with manual tiptronic function, which transfers all power to the front wheel drive. Throughout the ride, the little bit of vibration you could feel is handled by the suspension, which uses McPherson strut at the front and torsion beam at the end. It's pretty basic but it does its job when it comes to ensuring a smooth ride. When it comes to design and styling, the MG ZS looks neat and aggressive. No wonder why it is one of the best selling points of the model. It looks bold and stylish, and it's attributed to the strong character lines that hug its body, plus the front fascia. The Stardust grille, as MG dubbed it because of its pattern, carries the car maker's logo with pride and much emphasis. The grille is further framed by these London Eye halogen headlights. At the rear, the Polaris tail light take on the spotlight. Meanwhile, on the sides, MG gives an ode to history, as MG's hexagonal badge lends its design philosophy to ZS's 17-inch alloy wheels. The interior of the ZS is neat and straightforward as well. The dashboard looks modern and is highlighted with circular, chrome-trimmed air vents each on both sides. The cabin doesn't look cluttered at all, probably because the buttons are strategically positioned in one spot altogether. The steering wheel and the seats are wrapped in leather while you can spot high-quality plastic materials on certain areas. That was the MG ZS, a good-looking, safe, and most importantly, an affordable car. Our featured car in this car review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, 
is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Phoenix Petroleum 2019 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia on May 2-5 to for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. GAC, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. The 2019 Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival powered by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology kicked off its first day at the SF All of Asia Open Grounds. This year's Test Drive Festival opened with the traditional cocktails attended by top auto industry executives, motoring media personalities, and Phoenix Petroleum executives. During the four-day event, visitors can see and check out the latest cars and innovations from different local car makers and manufacturers including GAC Motor, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Mitsubishi, MG, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota. The Test Drive Festival runs until May 5, Sunday at the Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Toyota Motor Philippines held the Vias Autocross Challenge at Block 16, Mall of Asia Open Grounds in Pasay City. Toyota brought back the Wakudoki tradition to make racing an accessible sport of the ordinary Filipino and to strengthen the motorsport scene in the country. The Vias Autocross Challenge is a new addition to the standard circuit racing format, with a time competition wherein drivers navigate through an obstacle course one at a time, aiming to finish the track within the shortest lap time possible. Celebrity racers Gerald Anderson, Daniel Matsunaga, T. Filomeno, Gretchen Ho, Aubrey Miles, Troy Montero, and Fabio Ide competed at the autocross tracks with other racers. Isuzu Philippines recently launched the I Love Isuzu campaign at the carousel court of the upper ground level in Festival Supermall, Alabang, Montenlupa City. The launch was witnessed by hundreds of Isuzu vehicle owners and their families. Today, we are launching the I Love Isuzu campaign, which revolves around the story of Isuzu customers as to why they continue to trust Isuzu vehicle, merely because of its drivability, fuel efficiency, and overall body for money. The campaign, which will run off today till the end of this year, involved a series of promotion and events, among other activities, targeted not just for existing Isuzu customers, but also for potential clients as well. 
According to Isuzu, the launch of the campaign has been the culminating event of months of research, planning, and collaboration among Isuzu and its dealers, business partners, suppliers, and the various Isuzu clubs across the country. In addition, the I Love Isuzu campaign signals the start of a number of activities by the company, like the My Isuzu Story videos depicting heartfelt testimonials from Isuzu customers. Today, we're just uh, launching the, the I Love Isuzu campaign. By the next coming months, there'll be a lot of activities that we have lined up. We have the uh, Isuzu Upgrade Your Drive. Uh, these are for our loyal Isuzu customer. If they wish to upgrade to higher models like the Mio X, the D Max, they will be given additional discounts of 10,000 on top of the existing discounts that we have at the dealership. We'll also be launching our My Isuzu video contest. Today we'll be seeing two videos uh, about our customer on how they love their vehicles. But we would like to encourage our uh, other customer to make their videos on how they use and love their Isuzu vehicles. We'll also be introducing the Snap, Share, and Win contest on Instagram because we would like to touch base with the uh, millennials. Uh, millennials actually use Instagram instead of Facebook. So we're launching a, a, a photo contest uh, using Instagram. Isuzu added that their customers remain loyal and satisfied with the lineup of the products they offer. Additionally, the company said the D-Max and the MUX have immensely contributed to their success. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. If you are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one, here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Phoenix Petroleum 2019 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia on May 2-5 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. GAC, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee. My inspiration. It's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's head to head, our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. What we have in this edition of Head to Head are two cars that did not disappoint the market with their arrival. One of them is a head turner when it comes to exterior, while the other one takes pride on the advanced technological features that come with it. We're talking about none other than the Hyundai Tucson and the Nissan X-Trail. Watch it here as they go head to head. We'll start with the two cars' respective engines. 
Under the hood of the Nissan X-Trail is a 2.5-liter engine which gives out 169 horsepower and 233 newton meters of torque. These figures are made into a continuously variable transmission. On the other hand, the Tucson is powered by an R 2.0 EVGT engine that's capable of producing 185 horsepower and 402 newton meters of torque. This engine is coupled with an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends all the power to the front wheels. Let's check the exterior of the two vehicles. The exterior of the X-Trail is defined by the front fascia composed of this wide V-motion grille, reshaped fog and LED headlamps, and restyled daytime running lights. The exterior of the X-Trail is further highlighted by these 19-inch dual-tone alloy wheels, making the car a sight to behold on the road. Now let's proceed with the design of the latest generation Tucson. Its styling features a redefined fluidic sculptured 2.0 design language, and it's obvious with the hexagonal chrome-plated grille, further framed by a set of headlamps. At the rear, the reflectors are positioned higher. Aside from these, the Tucson powers through any road with 18-inch alloy wheels. It's time to hop on in the X-Trail and the Tucson. Inside the X-Trail, the combination of leather and fabric incorporated on the seats also contribute to the overall cozy vibe of the car. Present in here are the revamped door finishes and instrument panel accents, shift knob design, center console, and D-shaped steering wheel. Since the X-Trail can sit up to 7 people, it's worth noting that it offers ample space and legroom for the driver and passengers alike. Everyone can sit comfortably on the leather finish material, with folding rear seats with the configuration of 40-20-40 on the second row and 50-50 on the third row. For the infotainment system, which is the star of every car's interior, the X-Trail has a display head unit that is easy to connect with smartphones via Bluetooth or USB. It comes with six speakers that produce an enjoyable sound in the entire cabin. On the other hand, as you hop inside the Tucson, you'll immediately notice that the dashboard looks a lot neater, probably because the infotainment system doesn't take up too much space. The seats are wrapped in fabric, making it comfortable to sit on. In addition, the same with the X-Trail, the Tucson offers a lot of space inside. The rear seats offer 60-40 split folding with center armrests and more cup holders. For added cargo space, you could just fold the back seats and you're ready to go. Speaking of the infotainment system of the Tucson, it is positioned in a way that it's easy to reach and navigate. It comes with a 7-inch touchscreen display that also works as a rear parking camera with sensors. It is equipped with 6 speakers as well and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and aux in connectivity. When it comes to safety and security, the X-Trail is equipped with Nissan standard features. Though aside from the regular, the X-Trail takes pride in it coming with Nissan's new set of smart technology called the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. The X-Trail is equipped with cameras all over the car. It also displays an around view monitor that makes parking easier with its 360 degree overhead view. The Tucson also doesn't fall short with advanced technological features. For safety and security, the Tucson is equipped with dual airbags and anti-lock braking system with downhill brake control and hill start assist control, among other features. That's it for our head-to-head, -head, the Hyundai Tucson and the Nissan X-Trail. Two cars that are sure to deliver what is expected from them. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLS. Let's watch this.
new Mercedes-Benz GLS as Mercedes-Benz's largest and most luxurious SUV and above all offers more. More space, more comfort, more luxury. The confident presence of its exterior stems from its impressive dimensions, which are even larger than those of its predecessor. One of the benefits of the 60mm longer wheelbase is interior spaciousness, especially in the second row. The three fully electrically adjustable seat rows offers all passengers a generous amount of space and outstanding seating comfort. The seats in the third row can be lowered into the floor to increase the boot space, while the seats in the second row fold flat. Furthermore, a six-seater variant with two luxury individual rear seats in the second seat row is available for the first time. Celebrating its world premiere in the GLS 584 Matic is an electrified V8 engine featuring EQ Boost, a 48-volt system with integrated starter generator. Modern luxury, both on and off the road. That is the design message of the new GLS. Its aesthetics are based on the confident presence that its impressive dimensions alone create. The wheelbase of 3,135mm, which is 60mm longer than that of its predecessor, makes the vehicle beneficially longer and gives it harmonious proportions, emphasized by the understated, elegant side design. The GLE follows the design strategy of central purity and dispenses with individual edges and beading in favor of generously sculptured surfaces. The high aspirations of the new Mercedes-Benz GLS are likewise clearly apparent in its engine lineup. Powerful 6- and 8-cylinder engines deliver the motoring comfort and effortlessly superior power that suit the characteristics of this luxurious car. Shortly after the model series launch, the introduction of the GLS 584 Matic will mark the world premiere of a new electrified V8 petrol engine with 48 volt onboard electrical system and integrated starter generator. It has an output of 489 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. With a further 250 newton meters and 16 kilowatt per 22 horsepower available by EQ Boost over short periods, the integrated starter generator is responsible for hybrid functions such as EQ Boost or energy recuperation, while allowing fuel savings that were previously reserved for high voltage hybrid technology. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. You are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one. Here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Phoenix Petroleum 2019 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia on May 2 to 5 for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. GAC, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it.
Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Shortly after Suzuki Philippines unveiled the all-new Suzuki Swift, the company brought members of the motoring media to Bataan for a series of test drive activities aboard the newest model. In this special feature, we cover the highlights of the said event. Watch this. Suzuki Philippines, together with members of the motoring media, revisited Old Vanilla's glory in Bataan aboard the all-new Suzuki Swift. The 2D activity featured an eventful test drive event all the way to the scenic views of Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar in Bataan from Suzuki Auto Calaocan and then back. The team got to experience the performance and capabilities of the all-new Suzuki Swift up close during the three-hour drive to Bataan. The media navigated the straight lines of NLEX and bumpy roads of Pataan with the help of the model's technology and advanced safety features. Apart from these technological features, the company also wanted to highlight the Swift's powertrain. With a 1.2-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 82 PS of power and 113 newton meters of torque, the Swift was able to power through the three-hour drive to Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. Moreover, the media had a first-hand experience of the comfortable interior of the all-new Swift. The Swift's design and styling also stole the spotlight. The hatchback's stylish character blended well with the restored Spanish-Filipino houses of the Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. The Suzuki Swift is designed for the, especially for the young uh, generation or the people who have young at heart. And uh, because of that, we have a very good excitement features, not only the sporty looks, but also the sporty handling. But also we have uh, good features about uh, safety or fuel consumption or others. So that one we want to have, uh, emphasize through these activities. Through these activities, Suzuki not only aims to highlight the special features of the Swift, but the company also wanted to bring the model closer to the Filipinos, especially to the millennial market. According to Suzuki, the Swift continues to evolve to offer the young drivers a richer driving experience. This is the Suzuki Media Test Drive, and uh, we wanted to enhance our uh, good features of Suzuki Swift to all Filipinos, especially for the young generation or people in the young at heart. The market is still stable uh, compared to its past few years, but uh, we are very positive. We are expecting more sales in 2019. Of course, we are having a lot of aggressive and attractive program to emphasize our uh, brand image in the Philippine market. That was the Suzuki Swift Media Drive to Bataan, an event that highlighted the power and capabilities of the all-new Suzuki Swift, our special feature this week. And up next is another exciting features on Autos of the World, this time around the 2019 Audi A6 Black Edition. Let's watch this.
available in conjunction with all engine options, darkness falls on the Audi A6 range again this month as the popular Black Edition specification becomes available for the latest generation Saloon and Avant models. Already a firm favorite with customers ordering the previous generation model, the new top tier A6 specification can be combined with all engines in the new range, with OTR prices starting from 44,635 euros. Building on the foundations of the performance-focused S-Line specification, the Black Edition's upgrade from a 19-inch wheel to a gloss-turned 20-inch V-spoke design in matte titanium. They also feature a black finish for the radiator grille surround, front air intakes, door mirror housings, and rear diffuser, plus the roof rails in Avant models. Privacy glass for the rear windows also helps to set the tone. All the mild hybrid powertrains in the range can be combined with the new specification. From the 204 PS and 245 PS four-cylinder engines powering the 40 TDI and 45 TFSI to the 286 PS and 340 PS six-cylinder options in the 50 TDI and 55 TFSI. The dark undertones complement an already extensive S-Line equipment list, which enhances the body with exclusive front and rear styling applications lowers it onto Toter Sport suspension and adds even more technical appeal to an upgrade from the standard LED headlights to segmented matrix LED units capable of diverting their beams around leading or oncoming traffic. Inside front sport seats in leather and Alcantara, a perforated leather multifunction sport steering wheel with shift paddles and dark brushed aluminum inlays lend a suitably sporting air. And the fully digital MMI touch response operating concept provides the ahead of its time technological sophistication that is synonymous with four-sprung dirt stickney. You are planning to buy a new vehicle but couldn't decide which one. Here's your chance to test drive and compare all the car models currently available in the market in a very convenient way. The Phoenix Petroleum 2019 Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival is a virtual one-stop shop for car buyers and auto enthusiasts. Come to the SM Mall of Asia on May 2-5 to for a chance to test drive the car of your dreams. GAC, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. 
we have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. A vehicle that has a sleeker design and is equipped with more advanced features compared to its predecessor. That is the 2018 Toyota Alphard. Find out what makes it stand out in this car review. Watch this. A vehicle that has a sleeker design and is equipped with more advanced features compared to its predecessor, that is the 2018 Toyota Alphard. Let's find out what makes it stand out from the crowd. First things first, the engine. Under the hood of the Toyota Alphard is a 3.5-liter V6 engine that now produces more power and torque. It gives out 296 PS of power and 361 Nm of torque, and is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission, which used to be a 6-speed automatic. This engine layout makes the Alphard powerful when it comes to conquering the road. For the suspension, it comes with the same McPherson strut with stabilizers at the front and a new double wishbone with coil spring at the rear. Meanwhile, both front and rear brakes are operated by disc brakes so there's no problem putting the car to a stop. Let's now take a closer look to the exterior details of the Alford. Although the size is still the same, there's a number of features that don't look familiar and that's definitely because it is exactly what Toyota's goal is in launching the new Alford to make it look different from what the public is used to. Starting with the front fascia, the Alford comes with a bigger grille and is further highlighted by this new set of headlights. There's a notable change in the emblem as well as the Alford now bears its own logo. Meanwhile, the rear houses this new set of signal lamps, an additional detail that complete the whole look. Overall, Toyota did a great job giving the Alford a facelift, making their luxury minivan a sight to behold on the road. It's now time to hop in the new Alford. Inside, the leather-clad captain seats with Automan will effortlessly catch anyone's attention. Just like with its predecessor, these are power-adjustable seats as well. The majority of the Alford's interior is wrapped in a premium wood grain trim complemented by matte chrome and black piano wood inserts. We could stop here and decide right away that the interior of the Alford screams luxury and comfort. But more on the topic of comfort, the Alford comes with enough if not more legroom for the passengers in the second and third row. Moreover, the Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control is a staple feature in the Alford. Also for a 7-seater minivan, the Alford's interior doesn't look and feel packed despite the number of features and details it comes with. The buttons are placed strategically and are within reach. For the infotainment system, the Alford is equipped with the standard touchscreen display and navigation. It comes with the standard 2-DIN 8-speaker sound system that is available in AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3, AUX, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity, among others. The Alford doesn't also compromise safety and security. It boasts important features such as 7 airbag, Hill Start Assist, stability, traction, and vehicle dynamic controls, brake assist, and anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution. That was the 2018 Toyota Alphard, proving it goes beyond the facelift, our featured vehicle in this car review. And that's Autofocus this week, and on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, 
This has been Ray Louis Gamboa.